afternoon, y'all. Um, I'm going to show you my husband's favorite sweet potato pie recipe. Um, it's really easy. It's a basically a dump and go. First thing you need to do is preheat your oven to 450. And then um, after 10 minutes, you're going to cut it down to 300 and bake the rest of the way. I've got a pie crust here um, ready. And you're going to use an unbaked pie shell. You can get the ones that are already at the store in the little metal pans if you want to. I use the ready to bake crust. Um, so, and I rolled it out and just put it in there and you will have to have a top, so it's fine. Um, so what you need to do is you need to bake or boil your sweet potatoes. I've boiled them. I like baking them. It just seems like it keeps the flavor in better. Um, I've got a little bit over a cup here. So if this little concoction runs over, I'll just make another pie because he absolutely loves them. So if I made four pies, he would be fine with it. Um, so this is three small sweet potatoes baked and scooped out, taken out of their jacket. Um, out of their jackets, you need two tablespoons of butter, melted. You need a cup of sugar. white sugar so, there's a cup okay let's stir that up best we can I use evaporated milk the recipe calls just for milk I've used that before but I, I, something about the evaporated milk is just better I'm pretty sure the old timer who um, come up with a recipe probably meant evaporated milk because if you look at a lot of your sweet potato pies that's the kind of milk that's in them so we're gonna go with a cup of evaporated milk so there's one okay that was one whole cup okay now the recipe also calls for nutmeg, which my husband's not a fan of, so I will not be adding that, but I'm going to give you the original recipe that does have that. So if you like nutmeg, you can put it in or you can leave it out. We do put cinnamon in it though. Okay, so I need a teaspoon of cinnamon. You can use flavoring or extract, it doesn't matter. Okay. So you stir all this together. And see how soupy it is? I always get, it always happens this way. I have tried it a million different ways and it's always just real soupy. Let me get a whisk. So what I just do is I try to, like I said, just get another crust and put the excess in there. It always bakes out fine, but. All there is to it. it is not hard at all. Okay. So it's unbaked shell, so it's fine. We may have get by with just doing one. Yeah, looks like I can.
Uh, I will advise you to put this on a baking sheet when you put it in the oven so you don't make a mess. Okay, so first 10 minutes for 50 and the rest of the time after 10 minutes cut it down to 300 and then bake until it's finished. And I'll see you in a minute. Okay, here's the finished product, the sweet potato pie. It's still bubbly and hot right out of the oven. This makes the perfect holiday pie. See you next time.